Hey guys, this is the third video for More Than Words by Extreme. And where we left off last time, if you're looking at your tabs, is the we finished the second line of that second page of tabs. Okay, we were on, on an A minor 7 there. Alright, so what we're going to do now is go to the third line of the second page. And what we're going to do, and it's always best, again, I want to encourage you to print out those tabs and look at them because it uh, helps a lot to have the video and the tabs because I'm going to use those tabs a lot since especially since this this is so complicated of a pattern you know with all this finger picking and everything so um, let's go ahead and get started now third line so what we're going to do here is have a D chord and you're going to play that bass note first okay on the D string and then you're going to play the three and actually I take that yeah, take that back. Um, you're going to start with an open on the A string on the D chord, uh, on the A string, and uh, right before you play the actual D chord. So open on the A, then play the D chord with all of its notes. So D string all the way through the skinny E string. Okay, so. And then slap the strings. Every time you see those X's on the page, I forgot to mention, that's where you're slapping the strings, okay? It's not a chuck like that. It's an actual slapping of the strings. So, um, what you're going to do again, starting at the beginning of uh, that line, is open on the A, then D chord, slap the strings, and then we're going to play the D chord two more times, all of its notes, and slap the strings. So... Now we're going to the G7. This is a very recognizable chord in the song. Um, I think it's say to make it real or something. I'm, I'm trying to remember the actual lyrics there, but you can really tell where you're at by what this chord sounds like. Okay, so what you've got here with the G7 is you're going to switch fingers. Instead of having your normal G chord, you're going to put your middle finger on the A string in the second fret. Third finger is going to go on the third fret of the thick E string. The first finger is going to go way back here on the skinny E string in the first fret. So that's actually your um, different note. That's the one that makes it a seventh. Okay. Now, um, what we're going to play here is um, all the notes together. So we're going to play the thick E string and the skinny, skinniest strings all together. So E, B, and G. Okay. Pluck those all together, and then one more time. Okay, then you're going to keep your left hand the same, but your bass note's going to change to the A string, and then just the three skinny strings together. Okay, so four chords there, but all together, all together, bass note changes to A, and then just the three skinny strings. Okay. Now we're going to the next line. This is the fourth line on the page. It's a C chord. Now you're going to play this real similar to what you've done in the past. So it's going to be like this. Okay. So bass note on the A string alone. Then the three skinny strings two times. Just like that. Okay. Now we're still on the C chord here, but you'll notice we have a little note change. So Play your bass note again, A string, but now put your pinky on the skinny E string in the third fret, so it plays that G note. So you're going to play all three strings together, the skinny ones. Now pick that pinky up and do it again. Okay, so it's kind of like you do with the A minor 7 in other parts of the song, except uh, we're just doing a C chord this time, okay? So again, that whole fourth line sounds like this. Now we're going to go to A minor 7, and all, the only difference there is you pick up your third finger, okay? So now we've got open on the A string, and we're going to play the whole chord together, all right? And now we're going to put our pinky down in the third fret of the skinny E string and play those skinny strings again, okay? So it sounds like this. Then slap the strings. Now we're still on the same chord, so bass note. Now we're going to pluck the A minor 7 skinny strings again, still with our pinky on the 3rd fret of the skinny E strings. And then pick your pinky up, 
and then pluck them again. Okay, so and slap the strings. Okay, so that whole line there is. Now we're going to go to the last line on that second page. It's a G chord, so go ahead and just hold down your G chord the way you're used to. Pluck the thick E string first, and then the skinny strings. Slap the, the uh, strings. So, okay, just like that. And then we're going to pluck the whole chord together um, two times in a row, except the second time you lift up your pinky to open. So you go. Just like that. You can kind of see that motion I'm doing with my pinky. I'm kind of exaggerate it there. And then slap the strings, okay? So that whole last line of the second page of tabs there, it's going to go like this. Just like that. All right. Now, that finishes the second page of tabs. We've actually got four pages here. But I'm going to do a little bit of the next page because I want to end our verse. After that, we've got the chorus, and I'll, I'll uh, do the chorus in a separate video. Now, we've got a C add D. Okay? That just means we're adding a D note to a C. And we've had the chord already, but here it is. Um, we've got third fret on the E string, third on the B, um, open on the G string, and second on the um, D string. Now, you'll see I have my third finger here on the A string as well, or my middle finger here on the A string as well, on the third fret, but um, we're not using it here right away. Okay. First thing we're actually going to do is play all the skinny uh, strings and the D string with our thumb. Okay. Just pluck them all together and then slap the strings. Okay. Now, same thing, but move your thumb to the um, A string okay, and pluck all those together. So, so far what we've got is this. The only difference is where our bass note was at. D string, A string. Okay? Then we've got uh, D string again. Basically, we do that again. We've got D string and then A string again. So, we just play the whole thing twice. D string, A string, D string, A string. Okay? Alright? Just like that. Now, this is the end of the verse right here. And you'll definitely know what this is because it's changing so much. You just hold down a regular C chord. It's five notes long, so we start at the A string and just strum it slowly. And then hold down a D chord, start at the D string, and strum it. And then if this is the first time through, you, you hear him go, he hits the guitar uh, body a couple times, and then start over. go into that whole thing. So that's the entire verse. You know, this is a very complicated song, so if you don't get it right away, um, that's okay. The main thing here is memorize from the beginning to this part. Memorize it, uh, meaning not only do you know what's coming next, but you actually don't have to think about it so much. Muscle memory takes over to where you don't have to think about it. even to the E minor, continuing on to the end of the verse here, you actually don't have to think about it. That's when you actually start playing these songs really well. So, I want you to memorize all that, get really good at it, and then actually start trying to play with the song, get all your timing and everything just right. Okay? So, that was the third video for this song. My fourth video is going to be starting the chorus, and uh, good luck. Thanks for watching.